Growing up, I always was that person who wore my sunscreen. I actually remember in high school going on a beach trip with a bunch of friends and I was the only person who came back without a sunburn. Today, I'm going to discuss my favorite facial sunscreens in my current rotation, the ones that I really enjoy wearing, what is good for your skin type, and I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the difference between a facial sunscreen and a body sunscreen. I'm Dr. Hannah Kopelman, and I'm here to share my knowledge and experiences about skincare with you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I recommend having separate sunscreens, one for your face and one for your body. The reason is, is because the skin on your face is thinner. So you need to use products and ingredients that are gentler and cause less irritation, especially in the eye area. Also, if you suffer from common skin conditions like acne, you don't want to be using any products like a body sunscreen that may be a little bit comedogenic that can trigger your acne or cause more oiliness. So that's why I always suggest trying to have a sunscreen for your face and then one for your body. But if you're in a pinch and you only have one bottle, then of course cover yourself from head to toe because it's better to wear sunscreen and it's better than nothing. All the sunscreens I'm about to share with you today are broad spectrum. This means they protect you against UVA rays and UVB rays. UVA rays are the ones that cause premature aging, fine lines and wrinkles, as well as hyperpigmentation or discoloration that you get from the sun. UVA rays actually penetrate deeper into the skin than the UVB rays. UVB rays are the ones that cause sunburns and blisters and just also can eventually lead to sun damage and potentially skin cancer. So it's very important to protect against both UVA and UVB rays. Also, all the sunscreens I'm about to share with you are an SPF of 30 or above. The only sunscreen in my entire collection that is SPF 15 is a lip sunscreen, and it's tinted, and I'll share that link below, but that's the only thing in my entire collection that you'll find that has an SPF below 30. All the sunscreens I'm recommending I wear personally. They're pleasant to wear, the texture is nice, and I think you'll really enjoy wearing them as well. So let's jump into my favorite face sunscreens. First up is an oldie but a goodie. It's probably one of the ones that have been in my collection the longest, and that's the Elta MD UV Clear. This is an SPF of 46, and it actually comes in a tinted version as well. And I'll show you how that looks on my skin tone so you get an idea of how it might look on yours. This is great for all skin types, even for someone with sensitive skin. And by the way, my skin is like sensitive to normal. Sometimes it's dry, so it works really well for my skin and it doesn't irritate me at all. So the ingredients it contains are zinc oxide 9% and octanoxate 7.5%. It also contains niacinamide in it, which is a great thing for barrier protection of your skin. It's great for acne prone skin. It helps control oil. It's also great for rosacea and anyone who deals with hyperpigmentation or melasma. These are going to be great options. By the way, if you're someone who has hyperpigmentation and also deals with melasma, then you're probably going to want to choose a tinted sunscreen because tinted sunscreens protect you against blue light. And blue light can be high energy light from the sun, but it also can come from indoor light, from your computer, your screen. So with the tinted sunscreen, you're protected against both indoor and outdoor UV rays. And the tinted is going to be particularly good in protecting you against those blue lights. This sunscreen is also oil-free, non-comedogenic, so you don't have to worry about it clogging your pores, so, and it actually calms down acne because of the niacinamide in it. And it's also fragrance-free, sensitivity-free, and paraben-free, so you know that it doesn't have any preservatives and it's going to be great for sensitive skin as well. It also is very moisturizing, which I'll show you when I apply it, because it contains hyaluronic acid and vitamin E, which helps hydrate and moisturize your skin. First, I'm going to start with the non-tinted UV Clear. This is a fresh bottle, so I had to pump it a little bit. But I'm showing you here that it has a very soft finish. It's transparent zinc oxide, which is hard to find when you use zinc oxide because sometimes it can give you that white, pasty, chalky finish. This does not do that at all. It feels very moisturizing. And something I really love about this sunscreen is it works so well under makeup and it doesn't cause any pilling. Now I'm going to show you what the tinted version looks like. So I put a little bit on my finger, and as you can see, it's a little bit orange-brown color. And something that I find has been great about this is I've used it as a replacement for foundation. It also has a little bit of a dewy finish, but it's not bad compared to other sunscreens, and it rubs in very nicely. It does not leave a strange color. Next up is a newer product, which is also broad spectrum, and it's called ISDIN. ISDIN is SPF 50, and they are mineral sunscreens that contain zinc oxide. This has a zinc oxide of 11%, and this one contains zinc oxide of 10.7%. So I'm going to go through the difference between these two and tell you about why I like these products. Something that is remarkable about this sunscreen is it contains a patented formula that contains DNA repair zones. DNA repair zones are photolases, which are enzymes from plankton that can help repair pre-existing sun damage. And many people like golfers, so if you're watching this and you're a golfer and spend a lot of time in the sun, or if you're a tennis player, men and women, these are great options for you. Um, 
And because what happens is when you are outside and you are getting sunburn or in the sun, the sun UV rays cause DNA damage to the keratinocytes in your skin. And what this can do is actually try to help repair the damage that has already been done, as well as continue to protect you from pr future damage. They're also both water resistant for up to 40 minutes. So again, great if you're outdoors and sweating or going in the pool. And they also contain vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that can protect you against oxidative stress from pollution and environment, as well as fine lines and wrinkles. The Isden Photo Erifotana Actinica is very good for people with actinic damage, which is sun damage, and people with precancers like actinic keratoses. This is going to be a great option for you because as I mentioned, it's going to help re repair pre-existing sun damage that has already been done. If you're someone who is more focused on aging, then you're probably going to want to choose the Erifotana Ageless. This is the tinted version and it will be very protective against photo aging, which is what causes fine lines and wrinkles. Both of these sunscreens come in a nice size bottle, so you don't have to worry about running out too quickly. They're 3.4 ounces. And I also like to give them a good shake because as you can hear, they're very liquidy. I'm going to show you how they both look on my skin type. So as you can see, it comes in this dropper bottle, it drops right out, and it's a little bit runny, but not awful. And I'll show you quickly. It's very lightweight, it's not oily. It has a little bit of a sunscreen smell to it, but it's not bad. So it does have a little bit of a fragrance. And if you're someone who does not want sunscreen with fragrance, this is not going to be an option that you want to choose. So I'll just show you the tinted just so you can get an idea of the color on my skin. It rubs in nicely. It's not oily. It feels good. Um, it doesn't leave a chalky white cast. I actually recommend this for oily type skin. The only skin type that I would probably say this is not the best for is sensitive skin because it contains the fragrance, but sometimes people can tolerate it just fine. So give it a try. I really do enjoy wearing it and I love that you can wear it knowing that you're being protected from fine lines and wrinkles. The next sunscreen I want to share is a bit different from what I've shared already, and I'll show you why. It's called the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Now, this is chemical-based, so it has four chemical filters in it. It has avobenzone, homosalate, oxisalate, and octocrylene. So I'm going to show you why this is so different. By the way, this is an SPF of 40. It's also broad spectrum. And as you can see on the bottle, it has PA three pluses. So I don't know if you're familiar with the PA system, but the PA system is something that came out of Korea and it rates how well a sunscreen protects you against UVA rays because the SPF kind of really only tells you about the UVB ray protection. And when you see the PA plus system, it tells you about the UVA ray protection. So when you see three pluses, that means it's effective at protecting you against those UVA rays, which are the ones that cause premature aging and wrinkles. The PA system goes all the way up to four pluses. So this is again at a three plus. This is also water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. So again, if you're going outside and worried about getting sweaty, you know you'll be covered with this. So this is really cool. If you're someone that hates white cast and doesn't like putting on sunscreen, doesn't like the smell of sunscreen, this is going to be the sunscreen for you. You can see my hand. It looks like almost like a gel and it's clear, it's fragrance free. So there's absolutely no white cast. It's very funky. It like feels like you're putting on almost like a Vaseline, but it doesn't feel as heavy obviously. And it's also not going to clog your pores. It is good for all skin types. The only people that I think won't really enjoy wearing the sunscreen are the ones that are oily skin because you might feel like you're just putting more oil on top of an oily skin. Um, but Overall, it's going to be fine for your skin. It might leave a little bit more of a shine than other sunscreens, but this is how it looks once I rub it in. I love that it's clear. It works as a primer, so it's really good under makeup and it doesn't leave any finish. You don't have to worry about a chalky look to it. It feels like I'm just wearing nothing. Next up is a sunscreen that I've really been enjoying wearing, and that's the Beauty of Joseon. This sunscreen actually went viral. It's a Korean sunscreen, so check out my video on Korean sunscreens. But the reason I love this is because Koreans have done such a good job at making their sunscreens cosmetically elegant, and I'll show you what I mean by that. But this sunscreen is broad spectrum. It's SPF 50 plus, and it also has the best PA system. So as I mentioned before, the PA system tells you about how well it protects you against UVA rays. And this has the most extreme protection against UVA rays that you can get in a Korean sunscreen. So it has PA with four pluses after it. It also contains um, rice milk in it. This sunscreen also contains chemical and physical filters that can help protect you against its UVA and UVB rays that are not yet approved by the FDA in the United States. So I'm going to show you why I love this. Again, it comes out creamy. It's so moisturizing. It feels dewy. You just want to wear the sunscreen all day long. It's not heavy feeling. You can use this as your moisturizer. It's fragrance free. It's gentle on the skin. It will be great for all skin types. 
It also, as I said, is not only a sunscreen, but it acts as a moisturizer. It contains an antioxidant called Centella Asiatica in it, and also niacinamide, and it's glycerin-based, so it's very hydrating, moisturizing, and it's going to protect you against oxidative stress from the environment. Next up is the Naturium Duglow Moisturizer. This has an SPF of 50 in it, and they call it a moisturizer because it can really act as both a moisturizer and a sunscreen. It has three chemical filters in it, homosally, octosally, and avobenzone. It also contains niacinamide and an antioxidant called 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. So it's going to be great for barrier protection for your skin. It's going to help even out your complexion and also brighten the complexion. This sunscreen also has the PA system, which was adopted from Korea, and it's PA with four pluses, so it's extremely effective at protecting you against the UVA rays. This sunscreen also protects you against blue light, which means it protects you against premature aging and discoloration. So as you can see, it comes in this nice pump bottle. It comes out very similar to a moisturizer. It's very creamy, lightweight, and you can reapply it throughout the day. It does leave a little bit of a glow, which is in the name Do Glow. It will look good under makeup, but it will give you that glowy finish if you don't mind. The only thing I have to say that I'm not a fan of with this sunscreen is it is not water resistant. Otherwise, it's great and I highly recommend it. And last up is my favorite go-to sunscreen if I'm going to be outdoors playing activities or in the pool, and that's the Blue Lizard SPF 50 Sheer Lotion. This is an SPF 50 plus, so that actually means that it has proven to work at protecting you against SPF above 50. So that plus is like an added bonus. This is lightweight, it's fragrance-free, it's mineral-based, it contains zinc oxide 6% and titanium dioxide 9%. Even though it's mineral-based, it still looks sheer on your skin and doesn't leave a chalky white cast, and I'll demonstrate that for you quickly, but it is water resistant, as I said, for 80 minutes. So I love this if I'm going to be outside for a long period of time, but I always reapply every two hours. It's also very moisturizing because it contains hyaluronic acid in it and it has shea butter in it as well as vitamin E and antioxidants. So again, you're being protected against oxidative stress and any pollution. I also really like this for sensitive skin types and for all skin types because it's fragrance-free, paraben-free. You don't have to worry about it causing any type of reaction. As always, you can always patch test inside your wrist to see if the sunscreen works for you. Also, I kind of love this thin tube because I just slide it right into my tennis bag. So it's really compact, but it also comes in a bigger bottle, which is about three ounces. So you can check that out. Now I'm going to show you quickly how it looks on my skin. So it does take a little bit more rubbing than the others because it has the zinc oxide and titanium oxide. But again, you can see it does not leave a white cast. It rubs in well. It dries up quickly. It doesn't feel sticky. It's lightweight. I love this for water sports. So that's a wrap. My sunscreen collection actually grew bigger than my Beanie Baby collection. I'm always adding new products to it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any products that I didn't mention today, I would love to hear more. As always, you can follow me on Instagram, continue to follow me on YouTube, and hit subscribe. Also, I'm on Twitter. Check me out, and I'll keep sharing my skincare advice with you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.